Good morning. You are listening to Upreach, a morning devotional presented by the Church Street Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee, to encourage you as you face the opportunities and challenges of today. Let's begin this day together with some inspiring thoughts from God's Holy Word. Then David said to Saul, Let no man's heart fail because of him. Your servant will go and fight with this Philistine. And Saul said to David, You are not able to go against this Philistine to fight with him, for you are a youth, and he a man of war from his youth. But David said to Saul, Your servant used to keep his father's sheep, and when a lion or a bear came and took a lamb out of the flock, I went out after it and struck it, and delivered the lamb from its mouth. And when it arose against me, I caught it by its beard and struck and killed it. Your servant has killed both lion and bear, and this uncircumcised Philistine will be like one of them, seeing he has defied the armies of the living God. Moreover, David said, The Lord, who delivered me from the paw of the lion and from the paw of the bear, he will deliver me from the hand of this Philistine. And Saul said to David, Go, and the Lord be with you. So Saul clothed David with his armor, and he put a bronze helmet on his head. He also clothed him with a coat of mail. David fastened his sword to his armor and tried to walk, for he had not tested them. And David said to Saul, I cannot walk with these, for I have not tested them. So David took them off. Then he took his staff in his hand, and he chose for himself five smooth stones from the brook, and put them in a shepherd's bag, in a pouch which he had, and his sling was in his hand, and he drew near to the Philistine. First Samuel chapter 17, verses 32 through 40. David, the young shepherd boy, hears the challenge from the Philistines to send someone to fight Goliath. No one volunteers to fight except David. King Saul reluctantly agrees and offers David his armor. David puts on the weighty equipment, but quickly concludes he cannot fight in this heavy armor. He gives it back to King Saul. God equips each of us in such a way that is unique to our strength and abilities. David knows who he is and who he is not. David is trained as a shepherd to use another weapon. For David, it is a slingshot. David shows great maturity in realizing he cannot be effective with Saul's armor. What are the gifts and talents God gives to you? Do you ever try to accomplish a task with tools you are not trained to use? God allows each of us to develop skills that are unique to our life. He will not call us to use someone else's tools. However, this is only half of the equation. These talents must be mixed with faith. Talent alone is not enough. Faith alone is not enough. It is only when the two are combined that God's power is released and manifested in the physical realm. What about you today? Do you sometimes admire the talents of others and seek to emulate them? The temptation often arises to be someone you are not. This is a mistake. Why not let God live his life through the unique you? Then mix your unique gifts with faith today. You may be surprised at the power of God that will be manifested in your life. This has been Upreach, a presentation of the Church Street Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee. I am Kyle Bolton, the pulpit minister at Church Street, and I would like to personally invite you to come and share times of Bible study and worship with us each week. We meet every Sunday at 9 o'clock a.m. for our morning worship, followed by our Sunday school for all ages at 10.15 a.m. Then we meet again at 6 o'clock p.m. for our evening worship. We also have a midweek meeting for devotion and Bible study on Wednesdays at 6.30 p.m. I hope to see you there. Have a blessed day. Well, I'm not giving up, giving up. No, I'm not turning turn around, turning round. By the grace of God, I'll wear a shining crown someday. Well, I'll keep holding on, holding on. To that nail scarred hand. I'm not giving up, no, I'll keep holding on.